Hey everyone, it's Steve here at the DJ Lab doing something a little bit different. This doesn't really talk about DJing at all, but it is technology. And this is ChatGPT. Now, I'm sure you've heard of it. It's artificial intelligence that will basically do anything you want, but you got to be smart enough to know how to use it. So let me show you a little tip and trick here. A lot of people will just type in and ask it a question, but you can actually tell it to be the way you want it to be right so i can say you are an expert at music production and i want your help writing a book about making music with computers but you need to ask me a question every time hold on every time oh my god there we go what are you doing? every time there we go me a question every time before you give me an answer see so check out how this is going to work that's uh, putting its thinking hat on so sure i'll be happy to help you write a book here's my first question what specific aspect of music production with computers would you like to cover in your book I would like to talk about creating, about making music using Ableton and creating no tracks. So see, great. My next question, what specific topics or techniques would you like to cover in regards to creating techno tracks using Ableton? For example, do you want to discuss creating drum patterns, synthesizing sounds using effects? I want, want to cover everything. I want the book to be in depth. Uh, there we go again. Doesn't matter, he'll figure it out. Got the thinking hat on. What you thinking about there, chat GBT? Wow, it's really thinking hard. Deep thoughts, you know why? Because the servers are not as big as Google, right? So you got a million people online asking a bunch of random stupid things like me. And then you got some people making some money with this thing. So of course, here we go. Ah, what's my uh, current level? So it just keeps asking me questions because it's gonna narrow things down, right? Still thinking. Still thinking. Kind of like God answering prayers, you know what I mean? Like everybody's asking something. Everybody wants to know. Everyone's trying to harness the power of the AI. Ah, okay. That <laughs> that's all it was doing. It's like, hmm. I am a beginner. So see, we got it. In that case, a good starting point would be to cover the basics of Ableton's interface, how to navigate. From there, we can move on to topics such as setting up a project, creating drum patterns, and adding another element such as bass lines and melodies. We can cover sound design using effects, 
and arranging a mix in your track, it might be a good idea to also put some examples and exercises for the reader to follow along, as well as some tips and tricks. Um, and I can say, for instance, let me see 10 chapters. And here's some 10 chapters. I'm not going to bother reading this all up because you got eyes. You can see it yourself. But you see the power of this? I mean, how long would it take you to sit down and write a book with no help? This is like the ghostwriter. This is perfect. So it's giving me all the ideas right here. So, you know, if you're the smart guy and you know Ableton inside out, you're my buddy, Jason. Shout out to Jason. I'm sure you won't hear this video, but he's like Ableton expert and he teaches. He is certified trainer in Ableton. He could write the book and this would give him a good guideline of how to write it. Me, on the other hand, I'm dumb. I don't know anything. So I'm just going to tell it. Let's no, 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 no. Just write chapter one. Here we go. I could have told to write all the chapters and we'll just go on and on and on. But because it's AI, you don't want to overload it. So you better just say, write chapter one, write chapter two, write chapter three. And then you can kind of copy and paste this into a document as you go along, right? What else is really cool too is we have so much AI. I can take this stuff and I can throw it into another program and I can just have it speak it. So if you want to make an audio book for someone who doesn't want to sit there and read everything, it's super easy to do. This is a no brainer. Um, so let's see what it says here. Uh, let me just kind of skim over quickly. The main interface, yeah, okay. The range of view, the browser view. Please let me know if you need me to elaborate on a particular topic. So I could say, you know what I mean? like. I just say, give me a more detailed, I can't even spell it here or type, detailed chapter one. More details. Amazing, right? This is pure Star Trek stuff right here. I don't know. There's so many people that say, you know, AI is kind of going to take away from people and stuff. And I think it's going to help people to create stuff because I would never sit down and write a book about Ableton. But I could. Like I tell to get detailed and it's going like super detailed. Like, wow, right? Be like, looks good. Write chapter two in detail. You know what? Write chapter two for a five-year-old. Watch this. Our own special music using a computer program called Ableton. wild eh i can make this thing super detailed for a genius or i could sit there and tell it to write it for a five-year-old think of tracks like different colors of paint each color can make a different sound wow 
they see I almost need this version for myself. I need the version of a book for a five-year-old, right? The rest of the chapters for a five-year-old. I'm typing like a five-year-old. Uh, look at that. It, it won't do it. it. It's telling me not to. Okay, let's stop. Right? Chapter three for a five-year-old. See? You just got to give it a little nudge. Drums are the heartbeat of music. I got a big bass drum for a strong beat and a little snare drum for a sharp sound. Very interesting the way this thing's kind of like simplifying it for a kid. Like that would be a wicked video series to make, you know, Ableton for kids. Could you imagine, you know, maybe not a five-year-old, that's a little bit much, but say a 10-year-old easily could follow along and learn Ableton. Imagine a 10 year old kid using Ableton for 10 years. And when they're 20, could you imagine what they could do with it? <sighs> ah, I like how this mentions about the guides of an adult. Exactly. So I mean, I could go on and on and on all the rest of the chapters, but you guys get the point. This thing can do lots of fun stuff if you know what to put in. Because I didn't just say, write me a book, blah, blah, blah. I told it to be an expert in something and ask me questions when I asked it questions. So therefore, it narrowed down and gave me exactly what I was looking for. It's just like working with a, a ghostwriter, having some to talk back and forth and bounce your ideas off of. Anyways, that's it for me. Just thought I would kind of show this quickly and get on the bandwagon.